everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, my name's Jasmine and I actually just finished my first year of dental school at Arizona School of Dentistry and Oral Health out here in Mesa. And in this video, I'm going to go over exactly what classes you should be taking in high school if you want to become a dentist. So before we get started, you should know that there is actually nothing required of you to do in high school in order to apply to dental school. The required stuff actually starts in undergrad where you will be taking these classes in addition to whatever classes are required for your major. But these classes are the ones that dental schools want to see on your application and they wanna see really, really good grades. So everything you do in high school is to prepare for those classes in undergrad. I actually went back and found my own high school transcript with my schedule on it so we can go through it together. You can see exactly which classes I took and I can tell you which classes I would have not taken and what I would have replaced those classes with. So when I was in high school, I had zero clue that I wanted to be a dentist. So when I was choosing which classes to take, I was not thinking about what would help me down the road in college as a pre-dental student. So looking back, the first thing I would have done would be to look at my school's curriculum guide, found out which classes interested me, and then I would make an appointment with my high school advisor, preferably an advisor that's familiar with the pre-dental or pre-medical track, and made a four-year plan for high school as far as which classes I'm gonna take every semester. Okay, so let's take a look at my freshman year of high school. As you can see, I took my required English, science, and math. Also, health was required, as well as a language. So I chose Spanish, and I think choosing Spanish is a great language to choose here in, if you want to practice in the United States. It's a very, very common language to be spoken by patients, and it's so helpful in the clinical setting to be fluent in any other language other than English. So for my required English and science courses, I chose the accelerated option so that I would be challenged and prepared for AP classes later on in high school. So I recommend you choose accelerated options if you have the choice or if you think that you can handle it. If you think that you're not ready, don't worry. You can choose the regular or non-accelerated option, but if you do get a good grade in that class, you should try to take the accelerated or AP option the next year. I tested into geometry, so that is where I started with math in high school. Don't worry about where you're starting, just stick with it and work hard and make sure you're understanding those concepts. Having a good math foundation is really important for dentistry. There is a math component of the dental admission test as well, but it's not gonna make or break your career as a dentist. If math is like your least favorite subject, don't worry about it. I get that question a lot on YouTube in the comment section. Ultimately, sciences are a lot more important than math, so if that's not your strong suit, don't worry, but make sure you stay working hard and getting those fundamentals down while you're in high school. It will help you down the road, trust me. So health and PE were also required as a freshman, but as far as my electives, I chose keyboarding, which I thought was helpful for me because I wasn't a great typer, so I wouldn't change that. I also took chorale, which is choir. Looking back, I would not have taken that because I ended up quitting anyway. I was not good at singing. I took occupational survey, which to be completely honest with you, I think I took that because my friends were in it. And ASB leadership. That one I would keep. Uh, leadership is really important for dentistry. It's great to get involved in high school because when you go to college, you're gonna want to sign up for a lot of extracurriculars and student groups to show your involvement on your dental school application. As a dentist, you're probably going to be a leader in the office setting, so having that leadership background is really beneficial for that as well. Looking back on my freshman year, I think there were a few electives that I could have replaced with options that would help me better with dentistry or 
would apply more to things that I'm still passionate about. So going back, I might have taken a media course because obviously I like making YouTube videos. I could have taken a hands-on art course to help with my manual dexterity, a business course if that was available as a freshman, a public health course, or anything else that you yourself find interesting or is a passion for you. All right, so sophomore year, I took Accelerated Biology and Accelerated English too, Accelerated World History, so those were my required core classes and I chose the Accelerated option. I took Algebra 2 because that was my place in math, also required. Uh, ASB leadership again, which I wouldn't change that. I really liked being involved in leadership in high school and every year I just got more and more involved. Spanish 2, which was also required. Uh, and then I was a technology assistant, so I did end up doing some media work, which was really cool. I helped to make some videos for assemblies at my school. And for the second semester, it was all the same classes, except I did ceramics, which yay, I did some hands-on artwork. So little did I know that would help me down the road with my manual dexterity. Okay, so looking at junior year, I feel like this is where I could have started making some bigger changes and focused more on science. As you can see, I did take anatomy and physiology, which is great. I wish I would have taken the accelerated option if that was available at the time. I also continued with AP English and AP US History. So these classes weren't science related, but they were required and taking the AP version did help me get that honors status in high school. So that was just really good to keep my curriculum challenging. And I was really interested in the social sciences at the time. I also continued with math. At this time, I was in pre-calc and trig. And I continued with ASB leadership, of course. That was a huge part of my high school experience. I would not have changed that. But I did take a study hall all year long, and that's probably where I should have been taking AP biology or some other science class, just to get more exposure and experience in those types of classes. One major thing I would change about my junior year is that I would have continued with Spanish. I would have taken Spanish three and then again Spanish my senior year so that I could hopefully be fluent now. I really think that gives you such an advantage over other applicants when applying to dental school and clinically you can serve so many more patients if you are fluent in another language. Okay, so senior year, my senioritis, is pretty apparent. I'm really proud of myself for sticking with calculus because math is not required your fourth year of high school. Not sure if that's different now, but it wasn't for me. If you don't have the opportunity to take calculus in high school, don't worry. I do recommend though that you keep taking the math all four years just so that all the math stays fresh because you might have to take some math courses in undergrad and there is a math component of the DAT. I also chose to take AP government and I'm not sure if that was required, but if it wasn't, I would probably go back and take an AP science course just to get, you know, more exposure and so that I would have less to learn moving on to college. I continued with ASB and leadership. I was also a counseling aide, which I'm pretty sure that was basically a study hall. I definitely could have used my time wiser to take another elective, like the ones that I mentioned before, business, public health, something science related, but it was my senior year and I wanted to chill, so that's what I did. Same with the teaching assistant you see the second semester. I also took a couple other electives, one being this Holocaust course that was new uh, to my high school at the time. It was so interesting. I wouldn't even change that even though I know I could have taken a science course because I thought it was really interesting. It was just a great class. So if there's electives that you're interested that have nothing to do with dentistry, take them. High school is totally the time for you to do that. And finally, my senior year, I did take Writing 121. This was a college course. I highly recommend doing this because it saved me time and money when I went to college because this credit totally transferred to my university and I had one less writing class that I had to take. So all in all, in high school, my biggest advice is to be taking accelerated or AP classes if you have the option for those four classes. Take more 
upper division science classes when you are a junior and senior. And as far as your electives go, try to find ones that apply to the field of dentistry, so public health, science, or working with your hands. Or if you don't have electives that can relate to dentistry, pick electives that you're interested in. Good luck, you guys. I hope this video helped. And if you have any other questions, please leave them in the comment section. I'm gonna be trying to make another video really soon about what extracurricular activities you should be doing in high school also to become a dentist. So if that's something you're interested in, please leave a comment below and stay tuned. I will be posting another video soon.